So I don't know if any of you have been having intense dreams in the last week. Ever since like June hit, my dreams have been... Now I did have some dreams. I can't share it because I feel like if I share it, there's a lot of truth behind it. And it might not be the best thing for me to share this information. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I know that if I share it, they're going to be watching me. But... I have had other dreams that um, I can share. Um, <clears throat> so right now, this is going to sound like a information to you. You're going to be like, no, you're crazy. This is false prophecy. This is this. This is that. I know what God showed me. <clears throat> God showed me that we are right now. Actually, let me let me rewind this. <clears throat> in the Old Testament, God created the world and he was very wrathful, very jealous. In the New Testament, he sends Jesus, a physical manifestation of how he perceived us or wanted us to be like. Jesus was kind. You know, if you were slapped on the cheek, turn the other cheek. And the Romans took him, killed him, came back, resurrected so forth and people continued that faith um but we are currently living in what i was shown is the third testament and it's about the holy spirit because the holy spirit fled the earth from all the chaos and now it's coming back because they are trying to ban the new testament they are terrorizing christians and like I said, the Christianity was taken into a dark path because of the Vatican and the amounts of money that they make. And the money that they make can actually fix a lot of the majority of the problems that are going on in the world right now. And then religions combat each other and politics combat each other. But think about it. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We are living in the Third Testament. It takes... A couple hundred years for an empire to fall and in the year 2200 to 2300 the nations will fall and there will be new rulings and that's when the world will go into full chaos we are just at the beginning of it so our kids won't see it but our kids kids will possibly be able to see that in the future or maybe their kids 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 um, but it is coming, and it is not like the end like we think it is. It is um, a breakdown of everything, and new civilization, new laws, new everything. Um, it could be good, it could be bad, I don't know for sure. But after this third testament is over, there is a fourth one um, from what I was shown. But I was stopped at there, and I couldn't see any more than that. Um, so we'll see what happened. Um, there will be cities that were lost, that will be found. Um, definitely see help other than humans helping. Um, going back to roots. Back to using roots and herbs and healing and health. And there's a lot of things that are going to happen. Um, I don't know at all. But just be prepared, because change is definitely right around the corner. Just have faith. No matter what your religion is, just have faith.